Hi guys, this tutorial is about how to stimulate water in 3D Max using um, particle system super spray. So we started off by creating a base as a floor. And then you go to space warps. You want to have gravity. So let's create a gravity here. And then go to deflector. You want to have a U deflector for the floor. And lastly, you go to geometry, particle system, and look for super spray. And create a super spray here. So you want to rotate the arrow of the super spray towards the base. Like this. <coughs> and then go to bind to space warp. We want to bind this super spray to the gravity. And also bind to the U deflector that we created just now. And then go to the U deflector here. In the modify, you need to pick object base deflector and choose the ground. So you can see the box 001 is under the U deflector now. And then when we go to super spray, and you can try playing the animation in a timeline. You can see there's something bouncing down and bouncing up. So you realize that the bounce is too high for us because we are stimulating water. So we need to lower down the deflector value and change the bound to let's say 0 0.4. And we try it again. And you realize this particle is too small for us to visualize. So we are going to change it. <laughs> So here is the percentage of particles shown. So currently it is just 10%. We want to change it to 100%. After that, you want to change the particle timing, the image stop. We will change it to 100. And change to the in the particle types, change it to meta particles. And in the viewport display, change it to mesh. So you can see <clears throat> this is too small now. That's because the particle size is in a very small value, we need to raise it up to maybe 0.1 and then we can start adjusting the speed 0.05 let's say you can, you can see the effect and adjust accordingly let's spread let's spread it out a bit So it looks like a splash now, but it is not like a constant flow of water. So we need to adjust the, the tension maybe to 0 0.5. As you can see, it is still moving too fast now. It doesn't look like the water that we try to stimulate. So we Need to slow down the speed a little bit. 0 0.02. And maybe it's a little bit too slow. 0 
So yeah, maybe this is something closer to what we're trying to stimulate. So after that, you can apply a water texture to it. In the material editor, press M and then click is standard. You can see Autodesk water here. There's a range of water that you can choose from. Swimming pool, river, pond, sea. Let's try river. And then just drag and drop onto the water. Okay, we try to stimulate. So if you want to have something that acts as the obstacle to the water, you can simply create something like a box. And then you need to create the U deflector again for this box. So I create another U deflector. And I pick object, box. So if I stimulate it now, as you can see, the water is getting blocked by the box and it goes sideways. So this is the basic stimulation of water. In 3D Max, if you don't have the latest 3D Max like 2018, this is a simple method to try and stimulate water. So the 3D Max 2018 has the latest function, which is the water stimulation, which you can have a try to get a more accurate result. Thank you.